Hi, my name is Osonde Osoba. I work with Professor Bart Costco, and I'll be talking about noise-enhanced expectation maximization algorithms. First of all, we'll talk about the, the area of the applications we're working with. We're working with automated speech recognition for hidden Markov models, which we train with bomb watch algorithms. We're trying to train these faster, because right now it takes about a week to train a, a industrial class speech recognizer. We're also working with medical image segmentation. We're trying to separate water from fat in medical images like MRI and maybe PET, uh, PET scans. Then we're also working with neural network training with which we train with back propagation on GIFs distributions. And we are working with mixture models. We're trying to cluster data into their different into their different sub subpopulations. All these models have one thing in common. They are working with missing information. You have a complete data space, and when you observe the data, you observe it through a corrupting, a corrupting um, procedure. When, you cor when the data is corrupted, it makes the estimation really hard and complicated. And this idea was formalized by Orchard and Woodbury in 1972 when they came up with the idea of a missing information principle. So it's just the idea that observation, corrupting the, corrup corruption during observation makes the estimation slow and complicated. Now, Dempster, Lord, and Rubin came up with an algorithm for addressing this problem of missing information. They said, well, okay, we'll just take the data and augment it with some cons consistent estimate for the missing information, which we call Z or the latent variable, and we apply our regular estimation algorithms to it, in this case, maximum li likelihood estimation, or in some cases, maximum a posterior e estimation. In each of these cases, the, this algorithm converges to high likelihood estimates or sometimes maximum likelihood estimates. And it's, quite, it's kind of a workhorse work, work algorithm in modern statistical estimation. So we're thinking about making this faster, and we try to make it faster by looking at the missing information in, and trying to augment the missing information. And our idea came from using noise benefits. The idea of a noise benefit is that sometimes noise makes a system work better, improves the performance of a system, usually for nonlinear signal processing systems. Like if you look at the picture, the panel, you'll see that as you add more noise, the underlying features of the image becomes clearer until you add too much noise and then the, the image washes out. So you can see that the idea of a noise benefit is very much linked to the idea of missing information or, or barely perceptible information. And somehow using noise can help you augment that information and make it more perceptible. Now we, we found that while well, there is a way to augment the, noise, the EM algorithm to make it faster, and I derived a condition showing that if you satisfy this condition, your, your algorithm, your EM algorithm converges faster. But it turns out the EM algorithm is actually a learning algorithm also, so the, the noise you add, the injective noise you add, has to also cool down because a learning system cannot, cannot continue to learn or cannot converge to a, to a, to a stable um, maximum unless the learning rate reduces to zero. And so the combination of the noise, the noise condition and the cooling schedule forms the, EM, the, the noisy EM algorithm. And we apply this to, first of all, the Gaussian mixture model, which is one of the most ubiquitous models in electrical engineering. And the, EA, the NEM condition con, um, results in a simple algebraic condition under which we find that the, the estimation for Gaussian mixture parameters converges faster. And this algorithm has the effect of reducing the, of making the estimation more robust to outliers. We find a 15% reduction in convergence time with, e, with a noisy EM algorithm. And this is consistent across many other EM data models, which we presented in a, in a previous paper. Then we decided to apply this to a more complicated model for speech recognition, automated speech recognition. Most of the automated re speech recognizers use hidden Markov models, which they train with, Baum with the Baum Welch algorithm. And the Baum Welch algorithm is actually a version of the EM algorithm. This has been worked with the Cartic Outcast in the speech processing lab. And we find that we can even get up to a, almost a 35% reduction in convergence time with noise in the EM algorithm. We also apply this to clustering. And we find that when you have uh, an algorithm that converges faster, if you limit the number of the number of iterations to a fixed number, you also get a performance, a performance increase in classification rates and accuracy, essentially. And we found that, well, in the KMIS algorithm, we, have to, we get faster convergence, but in general classification, for a fixed number of iterations, we get better classification rates. And we're looking into applications involving position emission tomography, involving um, multi-finding DNA sequences, denoising of targets in radar. And in the, th in sen in the sense of theories, we're looking at extensions to minorization maximization algorithms. This is, this is a generalization of the EM framework to more general algorithms. And we're also looking for ways to find the optimal injective noise to add to the EM algorithm. And that's it.